Hello everybody, welcome to The Walking Dead Season 2 Part 10. I'm your host, the one and only Dig. And in the few minutes I took between the break, I I really hope you guys don't hold it against me if I could save Sarah, because this is blind, don't forget. So I have no idea if there's any alternatives to my choices, but... She, in all hindsight, she was a liability as a character, and she was not a very likable character either. So, I hope you guys will respect my choices in regards to these things I do. Because, remember, I don't know the alternative choices to these decisions. And I never will until I watch someone else play for her do it again. <sighs> She's dead, isn't she? I don't want to come in here, but the game's not giving me an option. I wanted to check on you. Make sure you're okay. He's not okay. He's gonna become a nervous wreck. Even more of why Billy been sick. She didn't want me to wait, but I had to. In case by some crazy chance, she didn't come back. No. That beautiful face. I'm sorry, Kenny. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck. I'm gotcha. I'm talking. Sarita. No peace. No rest. The punches just keep coming. Why the hell could Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That's not true. You help me all the time. I need you. Hmm. I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. But, uh, thanks for saying that. Now, nah, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't kill me yet, anyway. It looks like it must hurt. Don't touch it. He can't, he's probably blind. Well, how did I? Oh shit! Does that mean what I think it does? What? What are we supposed to do? What? Oh, what? 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 We should see what's going on. Don't tell me she's giving birth now. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Ah, oh, fuck. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. Well, what do we do? That's my question. Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca travel like this. Of course the baby's right. coming. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. This place doesn't seem safe for a baby being born. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. I guess. Oh, God, they're coming, aren't they? The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike. Think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Clem. Yeah? I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I trust Jane. Yeah. I mean, I would have never made it back without her. Uh, Just something to think about. They didn't give me the option to go with her, so... Never happened. When did you get an uh, assault okay. rifle? We're looking for warm blankets, clean water... No, I'll go with Jane. Maybe I should go with Jane. Yeah. Better hurry and catch up then. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast, 
and let's be careful. I don't remember you getting an assault rifle. Well, she took it from Troy or something. So I kind of have three options. Go with Bonnie, go with Jane, or stay here. Jeez, that could affect a lot of things. Yeah, the fact that they said, can we trust Jane, makes me a little suspicious. So that's why I'm ch I chose to go after her. And I don't see her anywhere. Great. Oh, you could highlight things that are certain. I ain't no oh, she's over. Is that her? I saw the blue marker. Oh, there, there she is. And she's just sitting down, not caring about Rebecca. What's going on? Oh, hey. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a lot's happened today. No shit. And I don't know if. Well. It's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. <laughs> I'm willing to bet by the end of this, Clem just could be on her own again. Did you find I have a gut here? feeling. Huh? Oh, uh, not yet. I hadn't really started looking until you showed up. I hope this place is what we're looking for. No idea. God knows we could use a break. Yeah, and God knows we're never going to get one as well as Telltale has their way. Because <laughs> they love to emotionally tormenting us. We have visitors sent there. Hmm. That's great. It's locked. Check this out. Why would that be locked? This gate's still locked. Which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? Do you think you can pick the lock? I should be able to figure something out. Maybe oh, this Oh, right. Lock. The nail file. The nail file? Versatility is not overrated. Touché. Would that work on a lock like that? You know, that? uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Sure, I'll take a look see. We got a cannon, that's probably a replica. Make an observation. Oh, find the observation there. You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement, so they're safe. Okay, replica, figured. Telescope? Sure, why not? The Accorda? I guess it's broken. I guess it's a good thing, okay. I don't need to work at a post, I need to find something heavy. Can I not go in here? Okay. F fine, be that way, game. Civil War, 1863. Thanks. That was really a waste of my time. Trash can. Find anything? No, not even trash. Hmm. So where does that leave us? Well, I can't leave the place. What am I looking for? Damn it! There's nothing else here for me to interact with except this there, our telescope. Oh, this one works. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can oh, yes. see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Who's that? Keep it in mind, though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Ah, shit. Who? I saw them for a second. I don't think I see their face. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. Why is he coming up here? No idea. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. We should just try and stay out of sight till he's gone. Good call. Mm hmm Chuck. Shit. Hide now. I figure I've seen this dude in thumbnails. Does he have glasses or something? He's like... He's a... 
the way I can tell from descriptions and the videos I've seen him in thumbnails in, he's a total douche. Not that I know what he does exactly, but I heard terrible things about him. He's trying to throw something away. Okay, down, 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 down. Why would I go up again? I'm not gonna talk to him, that's just stupid. Ah, shit. Подожди, подожди. Uh, I just want to talk to you. I just want to talk to you. I don't speak Russian. Uh, do you understand me? Do you understand me? That's a no. Yes. Oh, he does. We stop pulling that thing at me, Jesus. I am Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. Arvo, huh? I don't want to shoot anyone. Put down the gun. Malinka Devochka. Little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. <gasps> Back up. Put the bag down. What was he trying to throw away? Come. Make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. Uh, sure. You better have my back, Jane. What's in there, anyway? No, I have no more guns. I swear to we you. We just need to make sure you're... Painkillers? Anything? Whoa. Don't take your eyes off him. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. Your sister? My older sister, she's sick. Why the are you hiding it? Crying. That makes those things come. Please. If that medicine's for your sister, why are you hiding it in the garbage? I, uh, I need to keep it, I need to keep it safe. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless, and now you... You take my sister's medicine? You are worried. Hey, we've got people who are suffering. Who need this medicine? Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need people that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Clementine, yes, you must believe... We don't believe, believe a fucking word about your I sister. I don't know what to do. my sister suffer. She has been through enough. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're just some junkie. You know what that word means, oh, huh? Oh, no, I'm, I'm telling the truth. I swear upon my own life. I don't know what to do here. You're not taking them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Oh, Bosha. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. I don't trust you, but based on what the station wagon deal was in the first game, I'm not stealing from our people. You don't have to do this. Just let me go. Is it safe to let him go? Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a guy in the thumbnail I've seen that everyone hates. So, why did... I can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Threatening some stupid kid? I thought we were just gonna talk to him. I needed to make sure he didn't come back here again. He's probably gonna become a liability too. He, he, that's not the last we see in this guy, I know it. Go get the others. I'm gonna get this place opened. Now we need to get moved in ASAP. Ah, oh, shit. I don't believe he has a sick sister, but he's probably hiding something. But based on my experience with that station wagon in the first game, I'm not going to steal from people. This does not seem right. Especially if they can come back and hurt you later on, you know? Clem! Clem, hey! Any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from you in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems... Yeah, you should know special. about the guy, though. 
Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop, and a stranger showed up. What? Shit. This is the last thing we need. He right might now. be dangerous. I'm worried. He might be dangerous. Well, I, uh, I'm glad you're okay. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah, she's trying to get the gift shop opened. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I like her. She's honest, and she knows what she's doing. Mm. Yep, that's more than I can say for some. Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... he seems broken. Broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started he is as a broken. good guy. Yeah, I hate to admit it. He always tries to do the right thing, but he's not the same anymore. I'm glad you see it too. I wouldn't tell him that, but I'll speak out behind his back, though, about it. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. I mean, it's going to be like the opposite where you should have stolen from the guy as opposed to in the first game. I don't know. I'm not supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. Clementine. What'd you find? The building around back has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's coming so much faster than I thought. There's a room up there that might be good for when Rebecca has the baby. Jane's trying to get it open. Sounds good. As oh soon god, as yeah, Mike and Bonnie might be in trouble. We'll go. Hey, Clem. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. Of course it does. You're going to be a baby pants. I wish Alvin was here. He was a good man. Alvin was a good man. He was nice to me and always looked out for everyone. That man had one of the biggest hearts of anybody I've ever met. I should have told him that more often. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. You're going to be a good mom. We sure have come a long <laughs> way since we first met, huh? Yeah, you hated me You're when you first met kid, me. Good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ah, oh shit! I got this. Oh, so what happened we to Chris? Mike or Bonnie in a while, right. and I'm not saying I don't trust him, but I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on him. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. Oh, jeez. Okay, so this way. Oh, uh. Alright, they were headed towards the museum. If I remember from the next time on the Walking Dead segment, we were shooting guns, and I don't feel comfortable about that. <laughs> Considering a woman's in labor, there's a strange guy with drugs running around. Reach the museum, okay. Hey, Clem. I thought you went with Jane. She didn't take off, did she? Take off? Why she's still with us, don't worry, off? don't worry. Yeah, she's trying to get the place we found ready for Rebecca. Well, that's good. Just give me like ten more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty-handed. What? I just want to help. Okay. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I watch this side. You watch the other. Deal. Hmm. No water, of course. Empty. After all this time with the dead walking around, I didn't expect there to be any water left. Drinkable water, even. You think maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way? 
Oh, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And you didn't have to come with me. No, I wanted to. Never mind. Okay, souvenirs. Was that a keychain? Souvenirs, huh? Looking for a keychain <laughs> with your name on it? No. Why would I want a keychain? I don't even have any keys. Ah, oh, good point. Okay, we got some more cannon, cannonballs. Am I supposed to just kill time? There sure been some animals through okay. here. Watch where you step. Well, Jane said I eat hey, something a this. bit more An fashionable. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. Yeah, Some I could give it to Rebecca. She reckons it's more than me. Give it to Rebecca. That's a good idea. I'm sure she'll really appreciate it. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. Right. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. No. Not that I blame you if you No, did. I guess you have a lot to make up like for. It'll it make it feel worse. That's what matters most. Yeah. Clem found a jacket. All right, something. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know... Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> we can't put Rebecca in a Confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Guess it's better than nothing, though. Hey, if you're desperate, you're desperate. Coat, um... There must be something else here, or I'd be weaving, I'm assuming. Can I walk this way, please? Any luck? No, not so much. Unless you want some broken glass. Oh, can we get through the door? A ticket booth? I tell you, I sure don't like being near a graveyard with the world the way it is now. The way things are now, you're in a graveyard all the time. True. Yeah, <laughs> true enough. Are you in there? Nothing but junk in there. Trust me. Why would I move the box if there's just junk in there? Oh, open the shutter. Yeah, that'll work. Water? Is that water? Over here. I can't tell what that is. Water! Bottled and clean. That's just what we need. Uh, the door's locked, though. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to pry it open some No, more, I'll go, I'll go. But I've done this plenty of times. Much. All right, all right. I'll go. Thanks, Clem. Just open the door from the other side. Mike will carry those things out. Might be a bit heavy for you. Hmm. Oh, can I even fit through there? Uh, I'm stuck. Okay, maybe I push from. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's much for staying quiet. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> well, that happened. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Yeah, <laughs> no problem. I'm so sorry about that, Clementine. No, it's not your we fault. We should have been more careful. Well, is it please tell me there's water in there? At least now we got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. I can't hold that. Are you crazy? I don't want to tip it over you. This is stupid. Yeah, I can't lift that up. Hey, I got this. Careful with that. Even though the wood's on. Alright. That looks pretty heavy. Uh, it's alright. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. True. Carver was crazy, but at least his shells were always full. We'll make a plan. We'll make a plan. Everyone will have enough. I hope so. That baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. 
And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys. What'd you find? Come on. Stay close. That guy's gonna sue the boy, the drug guy. Oh, God. He just walked on in like it owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. Yes. We can eat raccoon? I need the shit out of that raccoon. Not like, I mean, just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I am starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away! Really? Where is it? I think it went over there. Nope. There he is! He's coming your way! Block him! Don't these things have rabies? Oh! Oh! Shoot! Dang it! Don't shoot it! It's gonna attract people. Not with the walkers out there. Oh, God. I'm even hungrier than I was before. How'd I get to a place where I'm sad I'm not eating raccoon? Well, I'm sort of glad it got away. Yeah. I had a family. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Come on, let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. We don't have much time to waste. Alright, this is kind of a slowish episode, but I'll probably pick up episode 5 with some emotional distress, like it always does. You're telling me your arms ain't tired? Nope. I could do this all day. <laughs> shit, shit! Oh god! Breathe like I told you. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh fuck god. me. Where'd they come from? Oh god! Where the hell did they come from? <gasps> Shit, walkers. How'd they get that close without anyone seeing them? That was Luke. Kenny, we've got to do something. You just keep that baby safe. Kenny? Kenny, we can't stay here. Clementine, where's the place you and Jane found? I'll show you. Good. Someone help me up. Oh, God, there's so many. We... Uh, uh, Gotta get out of here. Mike, the water. On it. Oh, God. Was that the right decision? Kenny, you better stay safe. I know you got nothing left to live for, but still. For one at a time. For one at a time. Jesus. Clem, I, I don't think he's okay. He's losing it. I mean, that... That isn't... It. He's doing it to protect us. Sure, but... Yeah, Kenny kind of losing it. I hate to admit it. Kenny! Okay, I think you got that one. I want to hurry up and run back with us. Damn it! I hope we Jane got that thing open. Ah, oh, crap! Here they come. Don't just stand there. Or more of them. I bet they better have gone in there. Oh, they did get in. It was about as human as I've felt in a long time. I almost forgot what. Clementine! Je Jesus, Clem, it's just not. Um, What's going on? Well, uh, I mean. In here. Let's get you comfortable. What the fuck are you two doing up here? Kenny, what's going on? We got God knows how many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, hold on a second. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. Rebecca's having the baby. Now? Yeah, now. <laughs> fuck. I'm sorry. Shit. Right over Shit. here. Uh. They're coming up the stairs. Here. Uh. We should... You want to help? Get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs. Shoot them before they get to us. What do I do? Whatever you can, Clem. Uh, I got call outside. I'll help pull them back. Go. I've got Rebecca. I won't be here. See you. Here they come. Oh. Here. We can't let them up here. 
You don't think that'll hold? It looks pretty sturdy. Can't hold them back. Oh yeah, that's not gonna hold. Lines up to the block this gate. Help us. Um, trash can. What about this? It's too light. We need something heavy. Cannon. We could block the gate with this. I'll help. I'm coming. Oh god. No! It's full of cement. Together. Ready? Yep. Take a path. Oh, oh shit. god damn it. What the fuck is going on out there? Get back! Get back! Oh shit! Oh. Grab her. Inside now, please. Oh shit! They're climbing up. What? what? They're gonna make it up here. Fuck! Does this shit ever end? Um, destroy the deck. We need to break the rest of the deck. She's right. She's right. Drop the whole deck. Drop the. Are you fucking crazy? How are we gonna do that? I don't know. Just look around. The support beam. Yeah, this way. Hack it. Ain't gonna work. Too thick. Well, what about uh, the plate? Crap. Look. That'll work. We bust that, the whole thing comes down. Boost me. Might want to hurry, Mike. Can we hack this, though? I'm not sure. Well, we are damn over try. Oh, we can. Move it. Come on. I'm going as fast as I can. There we go. Watch it. Son of a bitch. Now they can't get up here. Excellent. Is that excellent? I am not sure. Oh. Oh, no. What do you mean, oh no? The baby's not breathing? That'd be too cruel, god damn it. <gasps> Don't fucking play with me like that, game. Shit. We're now pretty much stuck in this visitor center, though. So, we'll worry about one thing at a time, I guess. Hey, Clementine. Hey. How's he doing? He's perfect. Who's a perfect little man? Who's the most perfect little man in the whole world? Do we know who the father is, really? What are we gonna do now? We can't stay here. Can we? No, of course not. I've got to rest. It's getting colder. Clementine, I can't think about that right now. We'll think of something. Just not this second. <coughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. I just wish I could get warm. Clem, why don't you give her that coat we found? Uh, hopefully you won't mind. Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? I didn't think she would. Do you want to hold him? Uh, sure. Could I? Of course. Your family. Here. Wow, you have to call me family. Wow. Just don't drop him, please. Comfort? Shh, shh. There you 
go. You're natural. Look at you, like a big sister. <laughs> Don't call me that. Here, let me take him. You both should rest. Don't do anything stupid, Kenny. Especially you. When's the last time you slept, Kenny? Uh, about two years ago. I'm fine. Plus, somebody's got to watch you while Mama gets your beauty sleep. Oh, God. Sleep. You gonna do anything stupid, Kenny? Like, run off of it? You never forget that smell. Something's gonna go horribly wrong. That's what always happens after something good happens. Why is Jane looking in there? Ah, oh, shit. What are you doing? Listen, I'm sorry. I've gotta go. Go? Go where? Just... away. Okay? You know, Jamie, Sarah. Yeah. I'm not gonna stick around and watch it happen to you two. You'll know that. You know the score. I'll be okay. Sure. But give it enough time, and everyone's luck runs out. Oh, she out. likes me. She wants to see me die. Is that it? Listen, when the shit hits the fan. Because it always does. Remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. They'll make you feel like you do. Like it's all one happy family. Can, can I go with you? No, you can't. That's not how this works. Alright, just I'd offer. You take care of yourself. I mean that. Here. Nail file? Yeah, take it. She wants to give it to me. Thanks. Yeah. I, uh... I gotta go. Luke's not going to be happy about that, considering you guys two were fucking. I assume they were fucking, but... Hey, thought you'd be asleep by now. You okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Good. <laughs> Hell of a night, though. <sighs> Temperature's dropping. We're low on food. I think we got to stay put for a while. You know, for Rebecca and the baby. Oh, so God. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore, see if we can find some place to scavenge. About that. What? Jane left. For good. What? When? Just now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? <sighs> you feel betrayed. Damn it! Keep it down. Sorry. I... Sorry. Just... Jane's gone. Really? Luke? Of all the childish bullshit. Childish? God damn it, Kenny. You know what? Just lay off. No. You put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two could roll around like fucking teenagers. Look, I made a mistake, all right? No, it's not all right. What do you want from me? You guys are both acting like jerks. All you guys do is fight. Look, I'm sorry. Okay, I fucked up. But you know what, Jane? She made an offer. And Jesus Christ, I needed it. Okay? I mean, look around you. Okay? Everything is shit. So forgive me for one day enjoy one moment of something else. Fine. But this baby, he's what matters now. Got it? So get your shit Honey, together. Where's my baby? Is everything all right? Uh, the final right. Everything is fine. We're gonna need a good place to raise him, which ain't here. We gotta push on. We head north. Get to Wellington. Oh, right. That, that's that, that's gonna go shot. terribly wrong. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Or at least it might be a good stop on the way. Kenny! I'm sorry. 
Yeah, I mean, Kenny's idea of a safe sanctuary. Frank's got a point. That could be a whole town full of supplies, and not that far from here. A whole lot better than here, anyway. Looks like that's our best bet. Mm. We need to get on the road as soon as possible. We leave at first light. Whoa, whoa. What are you talking about? <laughs> Rebecca needs rest. A few days at, at the least. This during the snow. I've got that baby formula. That won't help the rest of us. And what about shelter? We'll freeze out here. Luke's right. She needs to rest. We should wait a few days. Maybe that's for the best. We don't want to push Rebecca too hard. Just give me a day or two, Kenny. I'll be fine. This is a mistake. Look, we should all try to get some sleep. It's been a long day. It's starting to snow out, too, which really stinks. Don't get mad at me, Kenny. I'm, it's one choice or the air choice. If you're going to die or something, she doesn't look too good. I mean, after you give birth, you're very vulnerable to stuff. I know that much. Okay, babe. It's going to be all right. I mean, she's coughing a lot. She's going to get a cold or something. I just know it. Is that the end of the episode? It feels like a good right about time to end the episode, so. On foot. Get back on the road. Okay, I guess it's not the end of the episode. Okay, guys, we're approaching. Well, for, never mind, we're approaching. You know what time it is. You have a, a clock. Uh, this episode has gone. This part's gone way too long, so let's stop here. Thank you for watching. Feel free to click on my icons to write to my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.